What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. And this one comes from Deadline. Johnny Depp gratified after Amber Heard fails to get 50 million Depp medicines to boss again. Aquaman star sought dismissal based on UK libel verdict. So, yes, this is a new story. And it's from Deadline. Joey Depp may complain that Hollywood is boycotting him, but a Virginia judge has just handed them in the Martha star a big win in his $50 million defamation lawsuit case against Amber Heard. Heard, who is already pursuing a $100 million counterclaim, has attempted a Hail Mary move in April to have Fairfax County Chief Judge Penny Azacart dismiss the two year old case based on her ex husband's losing. Based on her ex husband losing a libel case in UK against the Rupert Murdoch's the Sun tabloids designation of the Oscar nominee as a wife beater. Now, as well, say, um, Rupert Murdoch is a big person in the UK and extremely, extremely rich, like ridiculously rich. And yeah. It's not surprising Johnny Depp lost that case with the amount of money Rupert Murdoch managed full of thrown at it. But yeah, subsequently Depp lost on trying to get the British Red Dove turned on appeal. Now in what is third consecutive time trying to send the Old Dominion matter packing, it is her who came up very, very short today. I don't know what this writer is writing half the time. It's a little bit weird. They um write odd stuff. Like, in a way, that doesn't make sense. Like, it's an inside joke kind of thing that you're not privy to. Odd. But anyway, the court is not persuaded by a defence argument that the plaintiff had a full and fair opportunity to litigate the UK action. Judge Azakart wrote in a dense opinion released to be there. Defendant was not a part in the UK action and was not treated as one, she continues. So it should be mentioned that both Heard and Depp took the stand over in London, on their respective point of views on the various allegations of his abusive behaviour. Because she was not a named defendant, she was not subject to the same discovery rules applicable to named parties. The judge determined, in fact, the defendant could not have been the named defendant in the UK litigation because her allegedly defamatory statements were made after the UK action commenced. Judge Ascart said, citing the December 28th in Washington post op ed, I heard that set Depp off on a le this legal pursuit not long afterwards. They're not in comparisons between free speech in the UK and free speech in the USA are untenable in this instance. Judge Azkart twists the point a little more. Defendant argues she is in privity with the son. Blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of legal talk. I won't go through it all. But basically, Amber Heard tried to argue that she was part of the Sun's case on the Sun's side and that because of the libel action in the UK, then this case should be tossed because she was a part of that and therefore under discovery of the rules, blah, 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 she shouldn't be a part of this one. And that it's just, it should be tossed and shouldn't even be entertained. That's basically her whole, whole thing, that... Anything Joey Depp says shouldn't be entertained and that it's all lies and made up and blah, blah, blah. I'm not even going to go into that. This is up for the judges to decide. But basically, Joey Depp's case is going to go forwards. Um, and it will be interesting to see where this goes. The judge basically says that she was having none of it. And that everything that was said with regards to the case not standing up, not that should not be allowed, was wrong. And it's going to be interesting to actually see where this goes, because a lot of things have been dragged into this. Um, stuff about how money's being used, with regards to Amber Heard claiming that she gave money to charity, with stuff about Disney, with stuff about the LAPD. Apparently Elon Musk is about is being brought up in some of this um yeah uh, i'm not sure what elon musk has to do with it 
But um, there is definitely probably going to be a lot of stuff from the LAPD. I think that'll be, like, key in this. What they have with the situations with regards to what they saw. Um, that's going to be a huge thing. Because, yeah. We'll have to see where that goes. We'll definitely have to see where that goes. But it's finally good that Joey Depp gets a chance to actually fight her, her himself in court on this matter directly and it not being about the son of Rupert Murdoch who has a lot more money than both of these people put together. Hell of a lot more money. And did everything he could to, you know, make sure that his newspaper was not um you know found liable. That's what he did there. Um but now this is a one on one battle in court. And it will be interesting to see where it goes and what happens. And hopefully a fair result is found and we actually learn more and can actually get some clear cut answers on this because I think a lot of um, the big problem of it has been that in some ways it is very much he said, she said because whilst there is stuff floating about that you can see, it's 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 not everything, right? This gaps in the story in the picture. So hopefully the gaps in the story in the picture with this case will actually get filled in. We'll get more information and we can actually finally see what happened in this situation and get a clear-cut verdict on it. And then the matter can be settled, right? Then the matter will be settled either John, you'll win. And Amanda's counterclaim will fail. Or Amanda will win. And then we'll have the counterclaim from Amanda, which she'll probably win as well. So that's the way it is, really. Either Johnny will win, and then the counterclaim will go away. Or Amanda will win, and the counterclaim will go through. It will be an intense battle. But the that starts on April 22nd. So April of 2022. So it's a long ways away before we have that. It's a long ways away. Like, where did it actually say that? Yeah, here. I've been delayed on numerous occasions because of the pandemic and more. Currently, the Virginia matter is set to go to trial in April 2022. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and comment down below, etc., etc. And I'll see you guys in the next one.